Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. He knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, Rebellion. there is such a thing as trying too hard. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Rebellion. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an orb. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! 
you, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwooper Feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiggermeld potion. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from a fellow Ravenclaw. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiggermeld potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation, is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my Yo, next welcome class. to the channel, bro. Of stars, Thank you for watching. We'll astronomy together. You'll Hope like you enjoyed this one. Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. A well prepared witch or wizard always has a few places on the Revelio. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the Fwopper Feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Ajurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. The other potion. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. What's happening here? I didn't know anything about that. Okay, what let's now, go back Mr. here. Weasley. Sorry, Sorry, Professor. Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Uh, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Jeez, now we're in trouble. I brewed an Adorus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, Professor. 
I was well, better be honest. Friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients. Thank you guys for cells. watching. Welcome Pay to the channel. Attention Hope you enjoyed this one. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Rebellion. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. Yeah, we've, we've been spamming oh, Rebellion everywhere. Um, let's see what's down here. We got here downstairs. Yep. More potions, alright. I'll take that. Locked. And that's it. We're gonna need to go back upstairs. Anyway, let's check our quest. See what we need to do to, to progress. Oh dear. I think we need to go outside now. Yeah, it's outside the map. I mean, it's outside the school, so. If only we can fly! What is this? Be honest with you guys I'm still not used to the controls of this game so how can we go outside be the fastest way to go outside um, can we click in here no um, exit okay we can go here exit travel Fast travel is such a nice addition to this game. It's got a big area. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Wonder when can we start using the broomstick? When can we start flying around? Rebellion. It'll be much easier if we can fly. Yeah, to cancel the quidditch, that's why. Yeah, it's locked. Okay. 
Revelio. Revelio. We really did a good job making this the environment feels alive. You know what I mean? It's not like the old games where there's nothing going on around and uh, oh, we're going the right way. <laughs> uh, and I think we got some weather changes as well. So right now it's raining. Oh, I hope we don't die here. Oh, that's too high. We're dead. That was so dumb of us. Um, guess what? We're back in here, so I don't know. Uh, how can we get out of this mess? Oh dear me. How can we get out of that place? Uh, I think we need to um need to fast travel again. Gonna be honest with you guys, it's like playing Skyrim, dropping around those weird places, see if we can go up, go certain places. You know what I mean? Ooh, that is too high. Or is it? I think we can go down here. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Yep. We'll go down here. Come on, it's not too high. There we go. Now, where are we? Um, we at the edge of the map. Oh, not really. Okay.
Revelio. Let me show you. Okay, that's one way to do it, but wonder what we have here inside. Maybe let's save the game first, just to be sure. Yeah, let's save it here first. Um, I don't know, maybe here. I don't know if it's tech to go inside, but it's more exploring, just something like uh, Lumos. Yeah, I'm gonna need some light here. Rebellion. Come on. Ooh. I think there's something down there. Yeah. Or there could be some traps as well. Jeez. I need to really need to sell some of our stuff. Rebellion. I don't know. Maybe it's not time for us to go here yet. So. Let's come back some other time. Yay! Got more loot, more items. Um, yeah, let's check that gear. See if it's worth it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's good. Right? Yeah. Definitely worth it. There you are, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. 
the two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Ooh, Thank you, you ally. Be on your guard. And you too, sister. Be careful. Where is that coming What's from? Going on here? Rebellion. Might I beseech you for some assistance? I'll get back to you, lady. Let's attend to this one first. Sounds like trouble. I must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <sighs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid! Let's get this out of here, shall we? What do you to do? Let me open. What are you Tell Rookwood to find me a cell. It doesn't look good. been accosted in such a manner than so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? I think that's from hours of play, playing uh, thieves and extortion from software games, I'd say. They seemed quite keen on you. Bloodborne. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. 
She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioneer, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I'm not sure old vine-covered pillars are worth studying. Well, I think anything concerning Merlin is worth pursuing, and I shall have you know. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio! Accion! Leviosa! Lumos. Incendio. The flames make the pyre sink. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. 
My guess is that each will also require mallow, sweetie, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my values and books. Okay, so I guess we've increased star capacity now. Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model. It's mainly used for... Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your fam... That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. We are known for our contributions to science and... But with all I plan to discover about the world around us... Hmm... It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover... I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see.
Revelio. Should we go down there? I mean, we can give it a try to see. Uh, Alright. That's what we're gonna do. Lumos. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Not again. It's always full. Got it. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Oh, let's head, head back to her. Revelio. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to... Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure.
Trevelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. Lumos. Revelio. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you? Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. My paintings. Oh, so it's just so bad. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting Rebellion. you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Far from here. I think let's go hmm. on with Seems the main quest first. Um, yeah, let's let's head back to the castle. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Rebellion. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Revelio.
good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult-to-find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts, always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand-making is. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh, yes. It's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Oh, you've brought hope to this old one-maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Revelio! Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. These rocks have seen better days. Revelio. How inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Revelio. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Incendio!
it's the floor. Ah. Rebellion. The statues Mr. the one of Anne mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? I recognize the stones. There's something to challenge to do the trick. Empty parches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. All statues of jackdaws. I'd best keep looking. No statues here. surprise. Higher. 
I'd best keep you. Is that as you say that? Appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. <laughs> Nothing. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity, but yes. Why do you care about some old wand? I don't, really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family? The family were always going on about how special it was. So I took it. Who could resist? I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking.
Rebellion. Okay, so now we need to head to the for Forbidden Forest, I guess. It's quite far from here. I think we can just pass trouble through it. Let's see. Yeah, I think we can. Yes, there we go. Saves a lot of time. What are you up to now? Rebellion. Looks like it's the one on the map, right? Sure, it looks like it. Okay, so gotta be careful then. Shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revelio. Here I am, as good as my word. Why does it have to be night time to do this? We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain it. Keep your eyes open for a bird bath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. I think it's Shall just we? Spanish. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Rebellion. Hmm. Yes. You know. The closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. I guess we're dead. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Let 
Lumos. Nothing to do now but keep going. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio Lumos Haven't a clue what I dream of making a better world <coughs> for me. Betting on the dragon fight was the best decision I've made yet. You made a stake! For me, I'll spot you like a streeler. Back for more. <laughs> this isn't a fair fight. All right, you had your fun. You may want to. Shall we finish what we start? No. If I have so much of a scratch on me, you'll be sorry! <sighs> we died again. <laughs> 